I'm Ben Edwards. I'm here with uh, Misty Robotics and the Misty 2 uh, robot. And we're here at Microsoft Build uh, talking about all the ways that this robot uh, can interact with Microsoft services. Um, so right now, just to let you know, this robot um, runs on Windows IoT Core and uh, it is used running a universal Windows platform with C Sharp under the hood. All the skills are written in C Sharp. There's an abstraction layer for, uh, for JavaScript developers. Uh, but we're going to also move that C Sharp layer to .NET Core uh, later this year. Um, we are connecting to Microsoft's cognitive services uh, via Azure, such as uh, um, image recognition, scene detection services, and um, speech services. So Misty can um, recognize the scene and tell you what she sees in the scene. Uh, those are just a few of the things that she can do um, as a, as a comp you know, using components of uh, Microsoft technology, but she's not specifically only Microsoft technology. She were, uh, she's, we're agnostic to how people use her. Uh, Misty's packed with a bunch of sensors, and despite her cute look, she's very powerful. Uh, so uh, from the top down, she's got a microphone array where she can uh, have beamforming technology and knows where sounds are coming from. Uh, she's got a 3D um, mapping sensor that can create um, point image uh, maps uh, of her surroundings, and also a 4K camera for video and uh, photos, and a fisheye lens, uh, as well as a uh, oh, oh, infrared lens for finding her way in the dark. Uh, a screen to display uh, information in her eyes, of course, uh, uh, LED and flashlight here uh, for indicators. Um, she's got an uh, uh, additive magnetic piece where you can uh, make your own components for her. Uh, coming down here, you can see her neck moves in th uh, three axes, and um, she's got speakers and arms that can be removed with just one screw and be replaced with, uh, by, by things like drink holders. Um, coming further down here, she's got a chest LED for different uh, settings, uh, bump sensors on each corner, and uh, time of flight sensors in the front, back, and below so she doesn't bump into or fall off, off of things. She is tread-based, so she's got tread-based locomotion and uh, inductive um, charging underneath. Uh, along back here, she's got a little trailer hitch you can attach things to, as well as a, a backpack where we could use Arduino or Raspberry Pi, make a project uh, on that, and add a sensor to Misty just via um, serial or USB. So that is uh, Misty in a nutshell. She's part of our developer platform that we're putting together uh, so that you too can program on a robot.